Okay. Welcome back. Um, in the last segment, we showed that not just uh, is an instantaneous code need to satisfy the craft's inequality, but also any uniquely decodable codes uh, need to satisfy the craft's inequality as well. And uh, therefore, like basically, any code that is useful uh, has to satisfy this craft's inequality. So in this segment, we want to show that given this constraint, um, it's impossible to uh, to find a code such that we can compress a source uh, to a weight lower than the channel entropy, the, or like we cannot compress more than the weight uh, limited by the channel entropy. So, what's the uh, weight of the code? The weight of the code will be simply given by the expected the length of the code word. Um, and uh, because not all codes, so this is basically the uh, expected weight, or like simply just the weight of a code, compression weight. So that will be in uh, bits per sample. Uh, I guess we gave an example earlier in uh, previous segment, like uh, 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 pretty early segment. And uh, so what we want is, of course, we want to minimize this compression rate. Uh, this is a little bit confusing when we say minimize the compression rate. But when we say minimize the compression rate, it's really have a higher compression. And... Uh, And of course, like, it's not code that uh, will be useful, that is actually uh, will be useful in the sense that we, we will be able to recover the source losslessly. Only the code satisfied the cross inequality uh, will be usable. So therefore, like, we should uh, include the constraint that the cross inequality is satisfied. Now this one will give us the lower bound uh, of the performance of the code, um, of any code basically. Okay, let me uh, write this uh, optimization problem explicitly by expanding this expectation of Rx, uh, and this is equal to Px Rx sum over x. And let me copy the constraint also. At this point, I really want to pause a little bit and uh, let you observe this optimization problem more carefully. Uh, I guess one thing, uh, because of the rotation, uh, sometimes people will get confused uh, even like which are the variables and which are the parameters of the problem. Uh, note that in this case here, x are not variables, but are more like uh, it's more like index of the problem, and really the variables are lx. We are trying to optimize the length profile uh, to find the optimal length profile such that the compression weight, let's call it r, here is minimized. Uh, we also mentioned that this is only a lower bound because. Uh, we really omit one constraint that uh, the length of the cohort, uh length of a cohort is supposed to be an integer. But if, it's, we, if we include this constraint, this become a pretty difficult problem to solve. So uh, instead, we will just uh, omit this constraint, and this will instead will compute the uh, lower bound of the code, uh, the co weight instead of the uh, exact co weight. Um, I also like to point out that uh, this inequality constraint here can really be replaced with a equality constraint uh, because for the optimum length profile, uh, 
that length profile should satisfy this thing with a equal equality constraint. Because for example, if I have L star x is the op really the optimum, um actually I have two to the uh the summation here is less than one instead of equal to one, then I can write this as equal to some one minus delta here where delta is bigger than zero. And um and I can Find another length profile, let's say de define another length profile L pi x as L star x minus epsilon. Uh, apparently, if I, uh, you, I, if I set a, uh, epsilon to be small enough, then, uh, I will still have this constraint for L pi is satisfied because this will be just equal to as you can verify, this is just equal to uh, summation x to the matter Lx star. And I probably have 2 to epsilon here. This is equal to 2 to epsilon 1 minus delta. And I can still make this less than equal to 1 if I pick epsilon small enough. And also epsilon should be supposed to be bigger to 0. And, but however, apparently I have the like expectation of L pi x will be just equal to expectation L star x minus epsilon. Therefore, um, L pi, the profile L pi x will have a shorter, uh, expected length, coat length than, uh, the profile L star x. Uh, that contradicts with the fact that we assume that L star X is the optimum profile. So we can really change this constraint into a equality constraint like this. So um, how do we solve this optimization problem? We can use the standard technique uh, of Lagrange multiplier, basically. We will absorb this constraint using a Lagrange multiplier, let's say lambda. And we write an other objective function L. Remember that L x are the variables, and uh, is equal to sum over x p x L x plus lambda sum over x to the minus L x minus one. And uh, so we will just take derivative of this one with respect to Partial derivative with respect to let's say L x pi, and we want to set this to zero. If I take L x pi here, there will only be one term uh, that uh, is uh, is uh, related to L x pi, and I will only get P x pi for the first summation here. And if I take derivative for this. Uh, with respect to L x pi here, I, again, I, I should only have one term, will be plus lambda parcel 2 to the minus L x pi L x pi. And, uh, the partial derivative of this is I say I always don't remember the formula, but I know that 2 is equal to exponential minus log, exponential log 2 is 2. And then let me rearrange the term, I have something like that. And if I take, uh, partial derivative of Lx pi, I should have minus log 2 coming up, and have remaining is minus Lx pi log 2 here, and of course this term is just 2 to the minus Lx pi, so therefore like, partial derivative of this guy is equal to minus lambda log 2 to the minus Lx pi. Oh. Px pi, and of course this whole derivative so equal to 0, I have something like that. Uh, well, actually, I can put a star here, just say the optimum to satisfy this, so. And, uh, I don't quite care about what this is, actually. I can just think of this as a constant. I will have, uh, 
2 to the minus Lx star pi uh, is equal to some constant times Px pi. And uh, know that this is just a probability. So if I sum everything together, sum over x pi here, on both left-hand side and right-hand side, I will have something like this. And this px pi is probability, I get this is equal to 1. And this, by the constraint that this is supposed to be equal to one that um, we will have this is just equal to one so therefore we have k equal to one so therefore what we have is uh, 2 to the minus lx let me just drop the uh, x pi here lx star okay i should keep the star here is equal to p x Or in other words, I will have Lx, the optimal length L star x, is equal to uh, log Px. Note that this is log 2 uh, minus log Px. So what will be the expected length of the output in this case? Uh, the expected length will be just the expected, expected of L star x, right? And that will be simply expected, uh, expectation of minus log px. And by now, I, I'm sure you're quite familiar with this expression, and this is just equal to hx. So we have the lower bound that we compute is basically hx. We can compress the source at most, again, like with a code that can uh, we we'll process one simple at a time, at most up to the point that uh, of at the weight hx. And uh, as we mentioned earlier, that uh, this code may not be uh, realistic because uh, here we don't enforce any constraint on the length of uh, lx to be an integer. Uh, however, we can simply put the ceiling of the code, or uh, the length of the uh, the output, oh, sorry, we can simply put a ceiling on the uh, uh, on the optimized solution. And in this case, for this one, uh, we can immediately see that uh, this new. Uh, let me just write another L here. Let's call this L tutor. Let's call L tutor as uh, level tutor x as L star x, the ceiling of L star x. Uh, what we mean by ceiling is just, for example, if I have 3.8, it'll change it to 4, or like 3.1, I'll change it to 4, and so on. And um, if I use this link profile instead, I can be certain I can find a code for that because uh, I know that uh, the graph's inequality will be satisfied because uh, I will have this sum over 2 to minus L tilde x will be because this is always bigger than equal to L star x here, this will be always smaller than, than smaller or equal to L star x here. And of course, uh, by the fact that uh, L star x is the uh, solution of this optimization problem, Okay, uh, let me just go back this for this equal to constraint here. I will have this is equal to 1. And so therefore, uh, since the graph's inequality is satisfied for this length profile, L tutor, uh, 
Therefore, I can sure that I can find an instantaneous call that with this link profile.